Tesla semi lawsuit drags on with small victory for Nikola Motor. Simon Alvarez of Tesla Radi has a very interesting report discussing how Tesla semi uh, semi truck lawsuit drags on with small victory for Nikola Motor. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and also ring the notification bell so you may receive a notification of our next reports, which I have posted in our community page if you go to our youtube channel's community page you will see what we will be reporting today this is why i'm asking you to subscribe and ring the notification bell to um, not to miss these interesting reports about tesla and the automotive sectors and also please like this video to show your appreciation of simon alvarez who brings this interesting story uh, from tesla radi about tesla semi and nicola one lawsuit this is armen harian from torquenews.com Almost two years ago, Nikola Motors surprised the trucking market by filing a $2 billion lawsuit alleging that the Tesla Semi copied several design elements from the Nikola One, the truck maker's flagship hydrogen long hauler. News about the patent lawsuit had been scarce for over a year, but recent updates indicate that Nikola has snatched a small victory from the Silicon Valley based electric car maker, snatched a small victory from Tesla. The link and reference I will show, I will post in the description of this uh, YouTube video, so please check that out. Nikola's case listed several characteristics. Nikola's case against Tesla Semi listed several characteristics of the Nikola One that were allegedly copied by Tesla Semi. These included the semi's wrap round windshield, mid entry door, front fenders, and the all electric truck's aerodynamic shape. The highlight its point, the highlight its point, Nicola stated that the similar drug coefficients between the Nicola 1 0.37 and the semi 0.36 was further proof that the battery electric long hauler was, I mean, Tesla Semi, was copied from the hydrogen fuel cell sleeper cab from Nikola One. Experts from Nikola's lawsuit pointed out that the Semi's design had caused confusion among the Nikola One's customers, diverting sales from the hydrogen truck maker to Tesla. Nikola also argued that these confusions might result in the semi's problems being attributed to Nikola One, such as those resulting from the Tesla's batteries and autopilot software. These, according to Nikola, are causing damage to its brand. Tesla has had problems with its batteries starting fires and its autonomous features causing fatal accidents. Should these problems arise with the Tesla Semi, the market will attribute these problems to Nikola because of its similarities between the two vehicles. Customers will also impute the Tesla's limi uh, Tesla Semi's limitations, distance and charging time to Nikola, to Nikola One, which will make Nikola's product less appealing to customers, the hydrogen truck maker noted in its complaint. Unfortunately for Nikola, Cases that are centered on design patents are very difficult to prove. This point was especially highlighted in August 2018 when the US Patent Office awarded Tesla a pair of design patents for the semi that actually listed the Nikola one as a reference, which meant that the examiner deemed Tesla's design as unique. For Nikola to win its case against Tesla, it would have to prove that the US patent examiner made a mistake when comparing the Semi and the Nikola One, uh, the design of the Semi and Nikola One. And that's a very difficult point to argue. Yet, if recent tweets from Nikola CEO Trevor Milton are in any indication, it appears that the hydrogen truck maker has stood by its lawsuit against Tesla. As it turned out, Tesla had filed a request with the Patent Trial and Appeal Board in September 2019 asking for a review to invalidate Nikola's side door patent for 
the Nicola I, this request seems to have failed. Granted, it is a very small victory for Nicola, considering that it is uh, frightening. Uh, it is actually fighting an incredibly slip up here, steep uphill battle. Still, the dismissal of Tesla's effort is a victory for the hydrogen truck maker, nonetheless. Tesla loses bid to invalidate at Nikola Motor patents in USPTO dispute. USPTO not only upheld Nikola semi truck important patents, but refused Tesla's ask to modify our patents. $2 billion lawsuit moving forward. We will defend our company's IP no matter who it is. Milton wrote on, on Twitter yesterday on April 20th. In a statement to Forbes, Nicola Chief Legal Officer Britton Wharton lauded the decision, stating that the development was, quote unquote, obviously favorable, and that the company believes the matter was decided correctly. Tesla, for its part, has declined to comment. That being said, a Tesla spokesperson has noted in the past that, quote, it's patently obvious there is no merit to the lawsuit, end of the quote. Elon Musk does not seem to be bothered by the suit, by the lawsuit either. Nothing, uh, not, nothing in, the, in a previous earnings call that the entire situation is a case of fate-loving irony. Ultimately, the Nikola one may very well be beaten to the market by the Tesla Semi. While the Nikola one was unveiled prior to Tesla's all-electric truck, prototypes of the Semi have been conducting real-world testing since the vehicles were unveiled. Recent sightings of the all-electric truck suggest that the vehicles are now being tested in harsh conditions in Canada or in Alaska maybe, uh, which I talked about in our previous reports and you have seen um, dirty and rundown Tesla Semi images that showed all the, um, all the signs that these Semi trucks have been tested in extremely harsh uh, uh, weather conditions in uh, in cold weather conditions probably to show the potential customers how tesla semi will um, uh, will do and how the battery will do how the range will do in cold conditions because if you are in a tracking business you have shipments in north and south east and west now this hints that tesla may actually be on track to start early production runs of the semi semi uh, sometime later this year as hinted at by the company in the past however there is a question about this if we're talking about uh, semis running at the end of this year we have not seen anywhere supercharger like mega chargers being built because apparently these mega chargers are important for the tesla semis to charge so if we haven't seen any permits for any place to build mega chargers. How can Tesla produce semi and how are these semis going to be charged? If you know the answer to these questions, please uh, let's discuss them in the comments section below. Nikola, for its part, seems to be on track to release the Nikola 2, a shorter range battery electric truck before the Nikola 1. The company expects to start production of its trucks next year well friends these are very interesting developments so nicola one has had some uh, initial uh, victory against tesla because of the comparison by the patent office some type of comparison by the patent office and uh, let me know what you think about this please and also do you think there is merit to this lawsuit because looks like nicola has a strong case but it also looks like Tesla has a strong case because Tesla apparently has been testing its trucks, if that's a strong enough case, has been testing its semi trucks on the roads before Nikola 1 hydro, um, was, uh, was unveiled. And now there is Nikola 2, which is going to be all electric. 
do you think there is strong case in this? Who do you think um, is uh, w which side are you taking with this? If you if you were to be an honest judge, I'm not asking to judge. It's not our work actually, but this is the situation. So let's not judge. And um, friends, thank you very much for listening. Subscribe to our channel, please, and ring the notification bell. And let's continue the discussion in the in the comment section below. And also, please like this video to show your appreciation of. Um, Simon Alvarez's work who who has uh, who has the reference for this story thanks for watching have a wonderful day stay safe and god bless you see you in our next report